head back to the house now. Uh, we've been working a little later because we have to get the boat done. And she's going to get put in the water probably next week. So uh, here's some updates on putting the plank in, on a through, put, we put a through hole in, some coppering, and just some of the, the general updates of, uh, of the haul out. Got Layla with us in the front of the truck because we got all the tools in the back along with the copper. The little two and a half, which makes it a little bit easier. And they're a little bigger than the old ones. Oh wow. But they're a lot bigger. Plank and the hole. I'll have to drill the hole out with a pound down on there. And here's the uh, these ones are even a little bit thinner. This is about the size that's in there now. And this is what I used on some of them. Because, you know, the old hole and now are going even bigger. Here's the inside of the shop right now. It's a little bit of a mess from working on the boat. There's our wind generator. We painted it black. And our composting toilet. We took everything out of the inside of Norna so that we could repaint and refinish the inside. Here's a new heart cypress plank that we're going to replace where the old larch wood was eaten by worms. We took out an old through hole and we're going to plug it with a wood plug and some epoxy. Here's Pete putting the resin in and then he thickens it with a cabocel. And uh, once we plug that through hole, we're going to actually move it. We're going to we're going to uh, drill another hole and put a new through hole in. This is a piece on the stem of Norna that uh, might have had a little bit of rot before we bought the boat and the previous owner had fixed. And so Pete hammered out the old piece of wood, the old shim that was in there. And he's going to put this new piece in just to make sure everything's good. He wanted to check behind everything, make sure it was okay. And uh, here's Pete marking everything to, uh, to put this new shim into the stem. Once the shim is shaped in place, Pete will go on ahead and glue it in with some paintable caulking. Next we had to make sure that the plank that we were going to put in, that cypress, heart cypress plank, we wanted to make sure that the, the boards on either side of it were straight. Oh, it's got a little taper. Yeah. It's right, right there. It's a little tiny notch where caulking sits in there and helps water Next, we plane down the taper on the end of one side of the board. This was low, so I took it out where the butt block was. Next we fasten the plank onto the ribs with manel fasteners. Mark them on the center, right? Yeah. I wonder if we thought of this. Any bad spots in the copper was cut out and we checked the wood underneath to check for worms. We next drilled the new hole from the new through hole and Pete's hammering the copper out so that we have more room to be able to install the new through hole.
This is the tool to be able to tighten the through hole. And next we tar, tar papered, and put copper on so that we can put the through hole on with 5200. Here's Pete putting tar on the spot that we had a real bad plank that got eaten by worms. We're replacing that plank. So now we're getting ready to install it. After hammering it in place, we screwed the Manel fasteners into the ribs. And the next step is the copper rivets. Where is it? Oh, okay. You're backing it up with that, okay? It's straight. Flat, I'll flatten that out. And I take this, and I put it over, and I say, okay, you ready, Courtney? And you're holding it on the outside. And it'll be up against the wood, and then we'll all pin that over. But it'll be up against the wood like that. Next, we drilled the holes in order to install the copper rivets and hammered them through the plank. After Pete hammered down the rows and I backed them up underneath, he clipped them and then peened them over. And then we riveted the butt blocks on both ends of the board. Next we started the process of covering all the holes with new copper and I'll show that process on the next video. Don't forget to get a copy of my book, Accidental Sailor Girl, on Kindle and paperback.